When nodes call you a milk drinker, are they saying you have strong bones? Or that you're a baby? It's probably the latter, right? Hello there. I am pleased to meet you. My name is Inigo. Ah, glad to meet you, Inigo. The name's Kaiden. Nice I suppose we'll be traveling together. Yes, fun! We will have many good times, you and I. Squashing spiders, exploring dungeons, romancing the locals. You name it. And that's your idea of a good time? There are still some yes. people who worship the old tribunal <laughs> in Morrowind. All right. House Redwin is stamping them out with great effort. I want... Lawman at your service. Did you see that? A dragon? By the gods. It's destroyed Helgen! The Jarl of Whiterun needs to send help to Riverwood. It's the closest village to Helgen, and if that dragon attacks... Then let's get back to Dragon's Reach. Anyway, what did you want to talk so, about? So, an ego. Yes, brother? And now we get back Tell to Tell me more doing. about yourself. I always wanted to play the lute, but my fingers are too big. And untalented. Ah. Uh, perhaps the ways of the gods don't leave much room for the realities of life. Yes, but a man can dream. Ah! Uh, my friend! My mind is being tugged again! It is very strong this time! I see wooden posts upright in the snow. A tower. I recognize the tower. Uh, I see the cabin again. The door is locked tight. It is receding. It is over. For now. My head is pounding. Ow. I agree. I think I know where to start. I saw a ruined tower in the snow. I think I camped there once long ago. The tower is a short hike from Dawnstar. It is called Snow you Point Beacon. It is nothing special from what I remember, but I think it is close to the source of these embarrassing episodes. I understand if we are too busy, but what do you say? Shall we go? Okay. My mind hopes we can find time later. It is in pain. I was with a bandit girl for a while. Turns out she was using me. Ah, I see. I once knew a woman like that as well. The love of a good woman would be nice, but first I must feel worthy. You will find the right person, an ego. So, an ego. Yes, my friend. Tell me more about yourself. I like the simple things in life. Sitting in a warm bar, the company of a beautiful woman, bashing a giant spider in the face. <laughs> All right. Lucian Flavius, reporting for duty. Azoga Grabatul rules over the Bloodfall Kingdom, a region of Cyrodiil she inherited from her grandfather, the first Bloodfall King. Her father was the infamous bandit ruler known as the River Snake, who went a bit wild after being denied the throne for his tyrannical tendencies. 
Erzoga, on the other hand, while at times a little vicious and politically hot-headed, is on the whole fairly even-handed and rules with honour. The Headman's Cleaver is one of their most prized artefacts. Helping recover it from the Green Cap Bandits would surely earn the Queen's favour, which is certainly worth having should we ever run into her people. Let's get back to it. Inigo, how many sweet rolls have you eaten today? About five, I think. Why? I was just curious. Sweet rolls are irresistible. <laughs> well, the first step to getting help is admitting that you have a problem. Speak, hear the hist, speak, hear the hist, speak its words to me. So, Pico? Hmm? Ah, yes. I suppose you might have done. I am not. I sense my family back in Thorn. I can feel them singing songs I can recall hearing when I was young. I join in with them, despite being so far away. It makes me feel home in a way. I miss them greatly. Oh, uh, thank you, I suppose. Let's get back to it, huh? Good talk. Oh, look, another corpse. Your work, I presume? Poor thing. Even your dragon blood can't protect you from the diseases that plague this realm. seem to have been infected with vampirism, my friend. Don't worry. Take this cure disease potion. I wouldn't want you to turn into one of those disgusting things. Don't mention it, friend. Since we will be traveling together for a while now, I believe this would be appropriate. That is Ruby. She's a Dwemer hummingbird. I found her in a Dwemer ruin some years back. I can send her to find people for me, and communicate with them through her and my locket. So, if either of us get lost, we will be able to find one another. She is! Ruby has been quite the boon ever since I found her. I am quite protective of her, and I tend to not send her on long journeys. But I figure with our current arrangement, she would be very useful tagging along with you for a little while. Take good care of Ruby, alright? What is that? Let me see that. This feels like the right way. I was starting to worry. Your Morgan would be much more terrifying if they just sprinted at you full speed while howling. Oh, by the divines. The image that just entered my mind. That's horrifying. Nordic runes would be so much more fun. 